Enix OS Overview Cisco built the next generation data center class operating system designed for maximum scalability and application availability. The NX OS data center class operating system was built with modularity, resiliency, and serviceability at its foundation. NX OS is based on the industry-proven Cisco Storage Area Network Operating System or SAN OS software and helps ensure continuous availability to set the standard for mission-critical data center environments. The self-healing and highly modular design for Cisco NX OS enables for operational excellence increasing the service levels and enabling exceptional operational flexibility. Several advantages of Cisco NX OS include the following. Unified data center operating system. Robust and rich feature set with a variety of Cisco innovations. Flexibility and scalability. Modularity. Virtualization. Resiliency, IPv4 and IPv6 IP routing and multicast features. Comprehensive security, availability, serviceability and management features. Key features and benefits of NX OS include Virtual Device Context or VDC. Cisco Nexus 7000 series switches can be segmented into virtual devices based on customer requirements. VDCs offer several benefits such as fault isolation, administration plane, separation of data traffic, and enhanced security. Here you can see, instead of using two physical switch in the core layer and two physical switch in the distribution layer, we can use only two physical switch and inside of each physical switch we can have two device aggregation device means distribution layer switch and also core device At, actually here in one device we have two layers aggregation and core layer this is the virtual device context or vdc the next feature is Virtual Port Channels or VPC. It enables a server or switch to use an Ether channel across two upstream switches without an STP blocked port to enable use of all available uplink bandwidth. Here you can see we have a switch in access layer and two switch in the distribution layer. After VPC, we will have one logical switch here instead of two physical switch 1 and switch 2 and because of that, we can aggregate all links between the physical switch, okay, the switch 3 and also the new virtual switch, means this combination of switch 1 and switch 2. Why? Because from the view of the switch 3, now its interfaces, okay, or its links connected to one switch, one logical switch. Because of that, you can aggregate all of these links. Here, STP can't block the uh, links between two switches, and because of that, you will have the more bandwidth and also more fault tolerance. The next feature is continuous system operation means maintenance, upgrades, and software certification can be performed without service interruptions due to the modular nature of NXOS, and features such as in-service software upgrade or ISSU, and the capability for processes to restart dynamically. The next benefit is security. Cisco NXOS provides outstanding data confidentiality and integrity, supporting a standard IEEE 802.1AE link layer cryptography with 128-bit advanced encryption standard or AES cryptography. In addition to CTS, there are many additional security features such as access control list or ACL 
and port security, for example. The next feature is base services. The default license that ships with NX OS covers layer 2 protocols, including such features such as spanning tree, virtual lands or VLAN, private VLANs, and unidirectional link detection or UDLD. The next is enterprise service package. It provides layer 3 protocols such as Open Shortest Pass First or OSPF, Border Gateway Protocol or BGP, Intermediate System to Intermediate System or ISIS, Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol or EIGRP, Policy Based Routing or PBR, Protocol Independent Multicast or PIM, and Generic Routing Encapsulation or GRE. The next feature is Advanced Services Package. It provides Virtual Device Context or VDC, Cisco TrustSec or CTS, and Overlay Transport Virtualization or OTV. The next is Transport Service License. It provides Overlay Transport Virtualization or OTV and Multi-Protocol Label Switching or MPLS. This example shows the simplicity of installing the NX OS license file. It is displaying the installation the NX OS license file. Once a license file is obtained from Cisco.com and copied to Flash, it can be installed for the chassis. It displays the host ID for license file creation on Cisco.com. Show license host ID. Here you can see the license host ID. Then install license boot flash and then the name of the file. As you can see, it is installing and now we have this license in this device. NX OS offers feature testing for a 120 day grace period. Here is how to enable a 120 day grace period. The command is license grace period. The feature is disabled after the 120 day grace period begins. The license grace period is enabled only for the default admin VDC and VDC1. Let me to show you. We can use the command license and then grace period. Okay, that's it. Using the grace period enables customers to test, configure, and fully operate a feature without the need for a license to be purchased. This is particularly helpful for testing a feature prior to purchasing a license. Also, let me to use the show license, okay, show license and then host ID. And after that, you know that this is our host ID and also you can use the install license from, for example, boot flash and then the name of your license. 